I need a little help about where to dump my trash bags. Put them in the parking lot dumpster near the parking spaces. When is trash day? Trash day is Wednesday. Do they sort our recyclables or do we do it? They expect us to take out our recyclables. Do we put our recyclables in a separate bin? Just take all your recyclables to the blue bin downstairs. Is there a special bin for yard waste? All material to be composted goes into the bin with the green lid. I was wondering if you allow pets in this building. We do allow some pets, but you must pay an additional $500 security deposit. What kind of pets do you allow? You may keep either one cat or one dog. Can cats and dogs be outside? Cats can be outside, but we want them collared or tagged so we know who they belong to. Dogs must be on a leash and are not allowed in the flower beds. Are there any special places nearby that I can walk my dog? There is a dog park down the block. Do many other tenants in this building have pets? Not too many, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding someone to share walks with. Ha <laughs> ha! I need your help. What's up? I'm lost. Where exactly are you trying to go? I want to go see a movie. You can't find a theater? No, I have absolutely no idea where one is. Do you know where the mall is? Yes, I know where the mall is. Go to the mall. There's a movie theater inside. I did not know that. It's a new theater. Enjoy your movie. Could you help me with something? What can I help you with? I need help finding a book. What book are you looking for? A book on reptiles. Most of our animal books would be found in the children's section. Where would I find the rest of them? You'd find them in the science section. Could you show me which direction they're in? Which direction for what? The science section, please. Sure I can. Right this way. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Did you need our help with the move? Yes, I do need your help with the move. What can we move for you? I need all my furniture moved. Will we be picking the furniture up from an apartment or a house? You'll be taking it from my old apartment. Are we moving the furniture to a house or an apartment? To my new house. We can do the move for you, but first I'm going to need to see some more information. Thanks a lot. I'll give you all the information you need. It's really pretty today. This is the best time to take a stroll through the park. I feel the same exact way. Look how nice the mountains look today. Aren't the budding roses beautiful? Ugh, it's obviously spring. All the flowers are blooming. There's a man selling ice cream. Would you like one? Yes, I'd like one. I'll get it for you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Where are the dumpsters located in this building? Right now, they are in front of the building for pickup. When do the dumpsters get emptied? Mm, they usually get emptied Wednesday, unless there is a holiday in there somewhere. Are there separate containers for recyclables? We don't mix our recyclables with regular trash. What does the container for recyclables look like? All the recyclables go into the blue bin. How about composting materials? We have a great composting program that uses the bin with the... Uh, could you help me? What's wrong? I think I'm lost. Where are you going? I need to find the movie theater. You're not sure where it is? I really don't know. You do know where the mall is, right? I know exactly where that is. There's a movie theater inside the mall. When did they get a theater? They just built it. Where would you like me to take you? I need you to take me to PCC. I can do that. How long will it take you to get from here to PCC? It'll be about 25 minutes. You can't get there any faster than that? And that's as quick as I can do it, kid. How much are you going to charge me? The traffic is going to cause you to pay more. You can't be serious. I'll take you to PCC for $30. I can live with that. What are your thoughts on the apartment? Oh, I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. There aren't any problems with the apartment? 
I think that the apartment looks very nice, but I do see some problems. What problems? I did notice a few stains in the carpet. We will have the carpet cleaned before you move in. You will? Yes, but other than that, are there any more problems? That was the only thing that I saw that was wrong with the apartment. I'm happy that you find this apartment so appealing. It is. I love it. Hey, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. When exactly did you move into the house? I finished moving in this last weekend. I didn't realize that the house was bought. Yeah, I saw the house and just fell in love with it. It was impossible to pass up. So, how long have you been living here? Twenty years and counting. That's great to hear. I sure hope that you can stay here for that long. I'd be crazy to ever move out. I just recently moved into the neighborhood. Is that right? How recently? Just last week. What kind of things have you been doing out here? Well, I haven't been doing much. Why not? I don't know what to do. There's all sorts of things to do. Like what? How about shopping or seeing a movie or even going to the beach? That's more than I've been doing. There are plenty of things to do out here. I need your assistance. What's the problem? I can't find the place I'm looking for. What are you looking for? I am trying to go see a movie. You don't know where the theater is? I'm completely lost. Do you have any idea where the mall is? Yes, I do. The mall has its own movie theater. I didn't know the mall had a movie theater. It's newly opened. Oh, it is very nice meeting you. I am happy to meet you also. When did you get moved in? Just this past weekend. I didn't even know the house got sold. I absolutely love this house, so I had to buy it. I understand, because the house is extraordinary. How many years have you been living in your house? I've been living here for over 20 years. 20 years? That is a very long time. I hope that we remain neighbors for a while longer. I could never move out of this house. We made it. Great. There's so much I want to play on. What do you want to do first? Let's go down the slide. Make sure you're careful. This is great. How would you like the slide? The slide was so much fun. What would you like to do next? I want to swing. I'll push you if you want me to. I don't need your help. I can do it. I'm new to the neighborhood. Have you been able to find everything okay? Actually, could you help me with that? What can I help you with? I'm trying to find a nice restaurant to eat at. What kind of food do you want? I wouldn't mind some good Chinese food. There's a great Chinese restaurant down the street. Could you tell me how to get there? It's a few blocks down. You'll find it on the right-hand side. Would you like to come eat lunch with me? I would love to. Thanks. I want to rent this apartment. I'm glad to hear that. How much are you asking? You will have to pay ten fifty every month. I can't afford that. What can you afford? I was thinking eight hundred dollars a month. I'll need you to pay more than that. How much more? How does nine hundred every month sound to you? Mm, I can live with that. We have a deal then. Can you tell me where we're supposed to take our trash? Put it in the dumpster next to that stairway. What day do they pick the trash up? They empty the trash every Wednesday. Are we supposed to mix our recyclables in or sort them? We're supposed to sort our recyclables. Is there a special container for recyclables? Mm, you should have a blue container in your kitchen. Empty that into the blue bin downstairs. What about plant material. Anything that can be composted goes into the bin with the green lid. Do you think you can help me? What can I help you with? I'm trying to find the mall. You're not sure where the mall is. I've looked all over the place for the mall. The mall is in the same place as the movie theater. I don't know where the movie theater is either. It's over on Washington Boulevard. 
Is it in that plaza? That's the place. I know exactly where the plaza is. I'm glad that I was some help to you. Do you like the apartment? I absolutely love the apartment. Everything is okay? I do have one problem with the apartment. What's the problem? I don't like all those stains in the carpet. Oh, we will have the carpet cleaned before you move into the apartment. I did not know that. I assure you that we will. And if there are any more problems, feel free to tell me. That was the only thing that I saw wrong with the apartment. I'm glad to know that you think the apartment is so nice. It's absolutely incredible. I'll take it. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, it's great to meet you too. Did you just move in? I moved in this past weekend. I had no idea that house was sold. I had to buy. The first time I saw it, I fell in love. It is a beautiful house. Have you been living here long? Oh, about 20 years now. Wow, that's a long time. Hopefully, we will be neighbors for a lot longer. I love this house. Too much to ever move. I recently moved into town. When did you move in? I've been here for only a week. What have you been doing this past week? I haven't done much of anything. Why is that? I don't know what there is to do. You can do plenty of things. Tell me what there is to do here. You can go shopping, go to the beach, or even see a movie. I didn't know what I wanted to do. There's a lot to do if you just look. Are you looking for something? I'm trying to find the library. How long have you been trying to find it? I've been looking for it for a while now. I can help you find it. If you want help. I would like that. Do you know where the movie theater is? Yeah, I know where that is. You'll find the library right around the corner. Are you serious? Yes, you can't miss it. I know exactly where it is now. Thank you. What is your policy towards tenants keeping pets? You may have a pet, but you have to pay an extra $200 cleaning deposit. How many pets can we have? You may have only one pet. You can have either a small dog or a cat. What is the policy as to where the pets can be outside? We ask that you keep your cats indoors or on your balcony. Dogs need to be walked to the street or park. Where can I walk my dog? There is a park down the street, but you must keep your dog on a leash. How many other people have pets around here? We have quite a few pet owners here, so if you need help finding a veterinarian, just ask around. Did you just move here? Yes, I moved in about a month ago. Do you have a lot of kids? I only have one child. What's your child's age? She just turned seven. So she'll be in the second grade right now? Yep, she's a second grader. I do have a class that I can place her in. That's wonderful. We can get started on the paperwork. Now, if you'd like. Perfect. I'd like to get her enrolled as soon as possible. I need your help. How may I help you? I need to find a book. Which book is it? I need to find a reptile book. You'll find most of our reptile books in the children's section. Where are the rest of the books located? The rest are in the science section. Please show me where the section is. Which section? The science section. It's right this way. I just moved into the neighborhood. Do you know where everything is around town? I could use your help with something. Exactly what can I do for you? I'm looking for somewhere to eat. What kind of restaurant do you want to eat at? I want Chinese food. I know of a fabulous Chinese restaurant down the street. How do I get there? It's just a few blocks away. Would you like to go to lunch? That would be great. I just moved in recently. When was this? About a week ago. What have you done so far? Nothing, really. What? Why haven't you been doing anything? What is there to do? There's a lot that you can do. Name one thing. You can always go to the beach or catch a movie. I haven't done any of that. There's no way for you to be bored here. Will you help me, please? What do you need? I'm looking for a book. What book would you like? 
It's a book on reptiles. Some of those books would be found in our children's section. And the rest? The rest can be found in the science section. Could you point me in that direction? Point you in which direction? Could you point me in the direction of the science section? Follow me, please. Is there anything specific that I should know about where to park my car? You have an assigned place in the back of the building with your apartment number on it. Are there any other spots available to me? You will see several visitor and unmarked spots. And these are available on a first-come basis. What if there is nothing else available? You can park on the street, but you have to pay attention to the rules. What are the rules? Most of the laws are posted on the signs, but you also cannot park anywhere on the street between 2 and 6 in the morning. Are the parking tickets expensive around here? Parking tickets are very expensive, and if you don't pay them, they may tow your car away. Where do you need to go? To PCC. I can take you there. How long is the ride? It's going to take me about 25 minutes to get there. Can you get me there faster? That's as fast as I can get there. Fine. How much will this ride be? It may cost you more because of the traffic. Are you serious? Yes, but I'll take you there for $30. That's fine. Thank you very much. Where can I park my car? You have what a side place right beside your own apartment. Are there any other open spots available in the parking lot? Your guest can park at a visitor or unmarked spot if what is available. Is there any place else to park if the spots are all gone? There is always street parking, but you must obey the laws about parking out there. Do they post the rules anywhere? The rules for parking are all currently posted. Just follow them and you'll be okay. Do you have to pay a large fine for a parking ticket? You don't want to get a parking ticket. You have better things to spend your money on. Are you new around here? I just moved here. Nice to meet you. I'm happy to meet you too. When did you move here? I've been here a month now. How do you like it? I love it here. It's gorgeous here, don't you think? It's wonderful. I would like to welcome you to the neighborhood. That's very sweet of you. What a nice day. I'm glad we decided to walk today. I agree. I can't believe how clear the sky is right now. I know. And look how pretty those roses are. You can tell it's a springtime. The flowers are blooming so beautifully this year. I think that guy is selling ice cream. Should we get an ice cream cone? I would love some ice cream right now. I'll pay for it. Thank you. That's so nice. Are renters allowed to have pets? We allow a small, well-behaved pet, but you need to sign an agreement saying you'll pay for any damages. Do you allow both cats and dogs? We only allow a medium or small dog or cat. Are there any special areas where animals are allowed or not allowed? Cats are to be kept indoors at all times. Dogs must be on a leash and with the owner when outdoors. Are there places where I can take my dog for a run? There are quite a few hiking trails nearby. Are there a lot of pets in this building? We don't have a lot of pet owners, but there are a few around if you have any questions about a local pet supplies in dog parks. What are the rules about where I should park? Your assigned space is in the back where I marked it on the map. Can I park anywhere else in the parking lot? There are a few spots back there for visitors. They are unassigned. Where can my guests park if all of those spots are gone? You can park on the street, but you can get ticketed for failing to follow the rules. How will I know what the rules are? Just pay attention to street cleaning days and limits on the hours you can park out there. Are parking citations costly? Yes. Parking tickets can be extremely expensive. What's going on? Things are fine with me. What's going on with you? Would you help me? Help you with what? You do know I'm getting ready to move, right? I remember you telling me. Do you mind helping me move in? I can help you with that. Is this Saturday okay for you? I'm free this Saturday. Can you come help me at 10? That's perfect. I will see you on Saturday. I need to speak with someone from the water company. Is there something I can do for you? 
Actually, there is something I need help with. How may I assist you? Well, I'm going to be moving in a few days. How can I assist you with your move? My water needs to be turned on. Okay. When exactly will you need this done? I need the water turned on no later than Saturday evening. I can have it turned on for you by then. What information do I need to give you to have that done? What I need is your social security number, full name, and your new address. We're here. I want to go play. What do you want to do first? I want to go down the slide. Don't run and be careful. I will. This is so much fun. Did you enjoy the slide? Yes, it was great. I went so fast. What else do you want to play on? Swinging would be fun. Do you want me to push you? I could do it by myself. Watch me. Thank you for helping me move. Don't mention it. Where do you want all your furniture? Okay, I want you to put the sofa in the living room. Would you like me to put it anywhere special? No, up against the wall is just fine. Where would you like this table? The table should go in the dining room. Would you like me to put it anywhere in particular? You can place it right in the center of the room. How are things looking so far? I think the furniture looks nice in here. You're absolutely right. Are you new in town? Yes, I did just move in. How do you like it here so far? I think it's great. Where did you move from? I was living in El Salvador. Why did you decide to move? I figured I could have a better life here. Is life hard there? There aren't many opportunities for people. Was it hard for you to move? It was hard, but I know my life will be better here. Here we are! Hooray! We finally made it to the park! What do you want to play on first? I want to go on the slide! Alright, but be careful. I'm having so much fun! Did you like the slide? I slid down it fast! Now what do you want to do? I want to go on the swings! Would you like me to push you? Nope! I can do it myself. I would love to rent your apartment. Oh, that's great. How much is the rent? The rent each month is ten fifty. That's a lot of money. Did you have a better price in mind? What about eight hundred? That's way too low. I can't pay much more than that. How about nine hundred a month? That would be fine. Great. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I'm new to town. Oh, really? Are you finding everything all right? I need some help. What do you need help with? I would like to find a nice restaurant. What kind of food would you like to eat? Chinese food sounds good to me. You can always go to the Chinese restaurant just a few blocks away. Where exactly is it? If you go three blocks to the east, you can't miss it. Why don't you come to lunch with me? Sure, let's go. I think I may rent this apartment from you. That would be wonderful. Can you tell me how much I would have to pay for rent? The rent is ten fifty every month. That's way too much. What is good for you? I can afford about eight hundred dollars a month for rent. That's not high enough. How much more are you thinking? I can let it go at nine hundred a month. That's almost perfect. I can live with that too. Did you just move here? Yes, I just moved here. Do you like it here so far? I love it here. Where did you come from? I came from El Salvador. Why'd you move? I want to make a life for myself. Is that hard to do there? It's harder to make a good life there. So, was it easy for you to leave? It wasn't easy, but things will work out better for me here. Am I speaking with someone from the water company? Yes. Can I assist you with something? I certainly hope so. What's the problem? I will be moving into a new house in a few days. What exactly do you need my help with? I'll need you to turn the water on in my house. What day are you moving in? I'm moving in this Saturday. We can help you with that. Do I need to give you any information? You need to give me your full name, social, and address of your new house. Did you just move into town? 
I moved in almost a month ago. How many children do you have? I have one child. How old is your child? She's seven years old. So she's a second grader. That's correct. I believe we do still have room for her. That's great news. Let's get started with all the paperwork. The sooner I get her enrolled, the better. I haven't seen you around, so you must be new here. As a matter of fact, I am. It's nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. When did you move here? I moved here about a month ago. <laughs> What do you think of it so far? It's great. Don't you think it's, a, it's beautiful here? It really is gorgeous. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you for making me feel welcome. Could you help me with something? What did you need help with? I need to find the mall. You don't know where it is? No, and I've been looking everywhere for it. It's in the same place as the movie theater. Where's the movie theater? It's on Washington Boulevard. You mean that huge plaza? That's exactly where it is. Oh, I know where that is. I'm glad I was able to help. Are you new in town? I've only been in town for about a month. How many kids do you have? Right now, I just have one. How old? She is seven. She should be in the second grade. Exactly. We have enough room for her. I'm glad to hear that. Let's begin filling out the paperwork. That would be great. I need some help. You're right. What's up? I'm looking for the mall. You can't find it? I've looked everywhere. The mall is right next to the movie theater. Where's that? You'll find it on Washington Boulevard. Is that plaza? Yes, it's in that plaza. Oh, I know where it is now. I'm glad I could help. What do you think about the apartment so far? Oh, it's beautiful. You don't have any problems with how it looks? Actually, there is a problem. Like what? There are some stains that were left in the carpet. Ooh, those stains will be cleaned out of the carpet before you move in. Oh, is that right? Yes. Now, what other problems do you have? That was the only problem that I saw. Well, I'm glad that everything else is to your liking. I honestly love it. Are you new here? Yes, I moved here a couple weeks ago. What do you think of it here? I like it here. It's very nice. Where were you living before? I was living in El Salvador. Why'd you leave? I wanted to start a better life for myself here. You couldn't do that there? It's not easy to do well there. It must have been hard for you to leave. I miss home, but I'm happy to start a new life here. Are you lost? I can't find the library. How long have you been looking? I've been trying to find it for a while now. Would you like my help? That would be great. Have you seen the movie theater? I know where the movie theater is. The library is on the same block as the movie theater. Really? There's no way you can miss it. I've got it now. I appreciate all your help with this move. It's the least I could do. Tell me where to put your furniture. That sofa should go in the living room. Was there a certain place you wanted the sofa? I think it would look best up against that wall. What should I do with this table? I want that table in the dining room. Should I just put it down anywhere? I want it in the center of the room. What do you think? How does it look in here so far? I love the way things are looking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, what's up? Eh, everything's fine with me. How about you? I need your help. What do you need? Remember when I told you I'm going to be moving? Yeah, I remember. Do you think you could help me move? Sure, that shouldn't be a problem. When? Are you busy this Saturday? I don't think I have any plans. Is 10 o'clock okay with you? That'll be fine. I'll see you then. Are you new in town? Yes, I am new in town. It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. How long has it been since you've moved here? It's been a month. Do you like it here so far? I actually do like it here. Isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful here. Let me welcome you to the neighborhood. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. What are you doing? Nothing much. What's up with you? 
Actually, I was wondering if you could help me with something. What would you like me to help you with? Well, you know I'm going to be moving in soon. You told me already. I was just wondering if you could help me move in. I can help you with that. Do you have plans on Saturday? No, I don't think so. How does 10 a.m. sound to you? Saturday at 10? Mm, I can do that. What are you looking for? I've been looking everywhere for the library. How long have you been looking for it? I've been searching for the library for an hour. I can help you. I would really appreciate your help. You do know how to find the movie theater, right? I found that already. The library is right around the corner from the theater. Is that right? There's no way that you'll miss it. I can figure it out now. How are you today? Great, thanks for asking. Would you like our assistance with a move? Yes, actually I would. What would you like us to move for you? I need you to move my furniture. Could you tell me what kind of residence that we will be picking the furniture up from? The furniture is in my apartment. Where will we be moving it to? You'll be taking it to the house I just bought. All right. I just need both addresses and we will take care of the moving for you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Do you need help with something? I'm trying to find something. What are you looking for? I'm trying to find a church. What kind of church is it? It's a Catholic church. There's a Catholic church right on Lake Avenue. Is that right? Yes, and it's huge, so you can't miss it. Where exactly is it? It's right at Lake and Woodbury. Thanks for your help. Where am I taking you? I need to go to PCC. That's no problem. How long is it going to take you? Well, traffic, uh, it'll take 25 minutes. Do you think you can get there quicker? I can't get there any faster. How much will the fare be? It'll be more because there's traffic. That's crazy. If you give me $30, I'll take you there. How kind of you. Thank you so much. Hi, is this the water company? This is the water company. May I help you? As a matter of fact, you can. What do you need? In a few days, I'm going to be moving. Okay, and what do you need help with? I'm going to need the water turned on in my new house. When do you need your water turned on? I'm going to need it done by Saturday. That shouldn't be a problem. What do you need from me in order to do that? All I need is your name, social security number, and your new address. Can I help you? I'm having trouble finding something. What is it that you're looking for? I need to find a church. What kind of church are you looking for? I want to find a Catholic church. I believe that there's one on Lake Avenue. Are you sure? It's a huge white church. Where at on Lake? <laughs> on the corner of Lake and Woodbury. Thanks a lot. How are you? I'm doing well. Did you need us to move something for you? That's exactly what I'm calling about. What exactly do you need moved? All my furniture needs to be moved. Where will we be moving your furniture from? I need it moved from my apartment. Where would you like us to move the furniture to? I need the furniture moved to my new house. All I need is a little more information, and we'll take care of the rest. Sounds great. I'm glad you could help me. It's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day to take a walk in the park. I think so, too. The sky is so clear, and you can see the mountains perfectly. Check out those red roses. You can tell that it's the spring. That's because everything is in bloom right now. Look! That man's selling ice cream. Do you want to go get one? That sounds so good. It'll be my treat. That's very nice of you. I really am thankful for you helping me move. It's no problem. Just let me know where you want me to put everything. I'd like you to put that sofa in the living room. Is there any particular place you want it? Mm, set it against that far wall. 
What do you want me to do with this table? That's the dining room table, of course, silly. Where in the room do you want it? It would look best in the center of the room. Do you like where everything is so far? Everything looks great. Yeah, I agree. Did you need any help? Actually, I was looking for something. What is it? I'm looking for a church. What kind? A Catholic church. Oh my. On Lake Avenue, there is a nice Catholic church. Is there really? Yes, really. Where on Lake is it? You'll find it on the corner of Lake and Woodbury. You've been such a great help. Thank you. How long have you had your license? Only two days. I don't feel safe. Why not? I passed the test. Did you get a perfect score? No, but a lot of people don't. What was your percentage? 75%, which is totally fine. Can you just drop me off here? Are you serious? Yes, I don't want to get hurt. Fine, don't ever ask me again for a ride. Driving is so bad for the environment. We should carpool. That is a smart idea. Where do you live? I live on Broadway in Los Angeles. Perfect. I live two streets down. I can drive on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll drive for the rest of the week then. Can we start tomorrow? Sure. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. What color is your car? You can't miss it. It's green. Do you like my new car? Yeah, but it's a little plain. What should I do to make it less plain? Decorate it. That's what I did. I know. I'll put stuffed animals in the back. You can also get a steering wheel cover. I might as well get matching seat covers, too. I'll give you my sister's seat and steering wheel covers. Are they new? Yeah, she never used them. Thanks. How much do you want for them? Consider the covers your birthday present. You in the green shirt. Are you talking to me? You're the only one here in a green shirt. What do you want? I saw you scratch my car with a key. You have no proof. You do know there are video cameras. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. If you admit it now, I won't press charges. Fine. I scratched your car. Why did you do it? You parked too close to my car. You have not driven in a month. I just like staying home these days. What is really going on? Honestly, I'm scared of getting into an accident. You weren't scared two months ago. My best friend got into a car accident. Accidents do happen, but not if you're careful. I'm just scared. You shouldn't be. If it happened to my friend, it can happen to me. So you're just going to never drive? I'll drive when I'm ready. Where do you want to go? How about Santa Anita Mall? I don't know how to drive there. Do you have a map? Yes, but I don't know how to read it. Try calling someone for directions. I lost my phone yesterday. You are so unlucky. Do you want to go anywhere else? Yeah, surprise me. Okay, I know this really fun place. Great, I can't wait. When are you going to marry? Where is this coming from? You have been dating Patricia for five years already. I'm just taking it slow. It can't get any slower. What if I find someone else? You won't. Patricia is your soulmate. Does she want to marry me? Yes, she told me. I need to talk to her. Don't tell her I told you. Don't worry. I will not.
I met my girlfriend's parents yesterday. How were they? Terrible. They hate me. What did they say? The mother said I'm not smart enough for her daughter. That's mean. The father said I look like a thug. Well, what were you wearing? A red t shirt and jeans. Seriously? You have to be more classy. They should be happy when I make their daughter happy. You need to meet up with them again. I'm going to send a drink to that girl. Don't do it. Why shouldn't I? She'll pour the drink on your head. Has she done that to you before? She does it to everyone. Why doesn't she just accept the drink? She thinks she's too good for any guy. I'm going to pour the drink on her. I would love to see that. The question is what drink? Something sticky and sour. I've been dating for a while, but I've never kissed anyone. Don't worry about it. When did you have your first kiss? I was 15. How was it? Weird. I didn't like the guy at all. Why did you kiss him then? I wanted to get it over with. When should I kiss my girlfriend? When you're ready. I don't think I'll ever be ready. Then maybe your girlfriend is the problem. What's your idea of a perfect date? You want me to tell you? Yes, I really want to know. He has to come to my door with roses. And then what? He has to open the door of a limousine. Then where are you going to go? A fancy restaurant with an ocean view. That sounds nice. We would eat lobster. How would you end your date? With fireworks and dessert. Should I ask Nancy out or not? You should not. Why shouldn't I? Nancy is a liar. What does she lie about? She lies about everything. Please be specific. She lied saying that her mom died. Wow, that's terrible. She wanted people to do favors for her. I'm never asking her out. I'm glad you decided to listen to me. I have a date with Mary tomorrow. Don't you have a date with Dorothy? My date with Dorothy is at 12 p.m. You have dates with both of them? What's wrong with that? Does Mary and Dorothy know about this? No. Should they? I think they would be upset if they knew. I'm just dating them. It's not serious. Why don't you tell them that? I think you're really pretty. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Will you go out with me? No. I apologize. Why not? Did I say something wrong? You only want to go out with me for my looks. That's not true. What do you think of my personality? It's pretty. You're funny. A personality can't be pretty. Honestly, I don't care about your personality. Then I don't care about dating you. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again. Why is the guy behind me honking? You are going too slow. I am driving at the speed limit. Everyone drives fast in this town. 
No one follows the rule? You're the only one. I should yell at him. No, he'll just be even more mad. Good, he deserves to be mad. You don't know if he's dangerous. I'll just go even slower. That would really annoy him. Why are you driving so fast? I have to be at work on time. Do you really have to? Yes, I will be fired if I'm late. I don't want to die. Relax, I am a good driver. A good driver doesn't drive extremely fast. We haven't even hit anything yet. I bet you're going to get a ticket. How much do you want to bet? If I win, you're never driving me. If I win, you have to shut up whenever I drive. Let's go on a double date. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? It'll be fun. My boyfriend is really shy. Me and my boyfriend don't bite. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it. Say yes. I would have to ask my boyfriend. He'll go. We'll go to the museum your boyfriend loves. He would like that. So, is that a yes? It's a maybe. I have a date with an amazing girl tomorrow. How did you meet her? I bumped into her on the street. What a coincidence. It was love at first sight. How do you know? We looked into each other's eyes. Anyone can look into another person's eyes. It was more than just looking. What was it like then? It was like a fairy tale. All you need is a castle then. Are you going to go out with John? No, I decided not to. Why not? He is such a good man. I just don't see a future with him. It's because he's shorter than you, am I right? I am not that shallow. Oh, come on. Stop lying to me. Fine, you are right. You should give him a chance. I just think dating a short guy is weird. Get past his appearance. Don't be shallow. I guess I should call him again. I think Jamie is very handsome. Well, you can't talk to him. Why not? Because he's going out with me. That's not true. Of course it is. And we are together all of the time. That's just because you do his homework for him. No, he likes me more because I'm smarter than you. But I'm prettier than you. You are not. I really am. Let's ask Jamie who is prettier. Fine, let's go. So what are we doing on Saturday? I don't have anything planned. Are you kidding me? No. What is so special about Saturday? I shouldn't even have to tell you. Is it your birthday? No. It's our one year anniversary. I am so sorry. You should be. I guess I'm not that important. You are. I'll make it up to you. How are you going to do that? I'm going to get you an expensive gift. I'll pay the restaurant bill. No, I'll pay. You always pay. I'll do it this time. I'm the guy, so I'm supposed to pay. That is sexist. Are you really complaining about someone paying for you? Yes, because you're being sexist. Just let me pay. How about you pay half and I'll pay half? Only friends do that. We're a couple. Not anymore. I'm breaking up with you. 
You can pay then. I am never asking girls out again. That's crazy talk. Sarah didn't meet up with me like we planned. So you got stood up? Yeah, I feel pathetic. Maybe she got the location wrong. No, she didn't. I asked her friends. What did they say? They said she never wanted to go out with me. That's harsh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll never talk to her again. There are plenty of girls out there. Will you go out with me? I think I'll pass. Why are you rejecting me? You just want to date me because I am rich. That's not true. I heard you talking to your friends about my money. I was just kidding. You're a terrible liar. Okay, you got me. How long did you plan on dating me if I said yes? I planned on marrying you and then taking your money. You are disgusting. I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today then. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35, a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. Does anyone offer free checking anymore? 
It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did, but I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? Since I'm not tech savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. The charges you contest will be frozen. I'd like to open another account. That's great. What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So, would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one-time $10 service fee. I ran out of date locations. Try museums and amusement parks. Me and my boyfriend have been to both. Go to a different museum. That won't work. I feel like we've been everywhere. You can always go to a place more than once. No. It's too boring. If you're with someone you like, the location doesn't matter. Maybe I should break up with my boyfriend. I thought you two had chemistry. We don't. We can't talk about anything. Break up with him before it gets serious. We need to talk. You're breaking up with me? I didn't even say anything yet. I already know. You're right. I'm breaking up with you. Why? I thought things were going good. They were. Things happen. What kind of things? I can't tell you. You'll get mad. I need to know. I met someone else. You're right. I am mad. My parents tell me I can only date after college. That is ridiculous. When can you date? My parents let me date whenever. You're so lucky. Why don't you just not tell them? That would be rebellious. Life is boring without rebellion. Wouldn't they eventually find out? Even if they do, they can't change anything. You're totally right. It's your life not your parents. I have to tell you something. Go ahead and tell me. You won't like it. Just spill it. I saw your boyfriend kissing another girl. Are you serious? Yes, they were at a fancy restaurant. Thank you for telling me. Of course, we're good friends. I'm going to embarrass him. He deserves it. Call me when you see them together again. So, what are some of your hobbies? I don't have any. What are your favorite TV shows? I don't watch TV. 
What do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. How would you describe yourself? I don't know. Oh, come on. You must know something. Don't you get the hint? I don't want to be here. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. What's your favorite means of communication? I prefer talking directly to people. How do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends, so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone. Do you get in touch with your family by phone? Yes, I do. I live away from my family, so phone would be an ideal means of communication. Do you usually write letters or emails? I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely. Now I prefer emails due to its convenience. What are some advantages of using a mobile phone? That's the easiest means of communication, I think. Mobile phones are portable. Just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want. Do you like handwriting letters? Yes, I do. I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes. Do you use social networks? Yes, the youth can now hardly live without social networks. Do you need communication skills using social networks? Sure, even in social networks. How have social networks changed communication? People prefer talking online rather than directly. Because of the illusion of social networks, people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life. Do you have good communication skills in your opinion? Maybe yes. People are quite happy talking to me. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. 
After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well-known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the Internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes. Apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer but under the control of their parents. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. 
She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher. An honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is the Coffee House, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends, the coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds: coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full-bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. Will you come back there again? Of course, I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds: radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience, I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the internet, you can read electronic news any time and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio, and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user friendly. Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course. There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. 
How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Are you studying or working? I left school three years ago. I'm working now. Are you self-employed or working for a company? I'm self-employed. I used to work for a company two years ago. Are you running any business? Yes, I'm running a small business. What does your business sell? I make and sell handmade cosmetics. Do you have any difficulty running that business? Yes, I had some difficulties attracting customers at first, but everything is getting better now. Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. Easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have. But I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago. But now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. Where is your hometown? My hometown is a coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I can live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white-collar jobs.
Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city. Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do in the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me. The green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all love their stepmother due to the white shirt she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. 
Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons.